Yeah. Uh, and what are your thoughts on the performance? It took a pretty special goal to break the deadlock. Yeah, it did, and looked like that's what it's going to take. Because yeah, obviously, although we, you know we controlled the game enough, and we're just a bit wasteful in front of goal, but yeah, it's a cup competition. The most important thing is you find a way to win, uh, and uh, we did that. Any frustrations during the game about you know, how wasteful you were in the final third? Uh, it is what it is, you know, you just got to deal with it. Like I said, the most important thing is that, you know, you can sit there and analyse it, but ultimately in a cup competition, it's about being successful to get through to the next round because um, in every game you're going to play in a knockout comp, you know, it's going to take something on the day to get it done. Sometimes you can, you know, that can be something conventional, sometimes it's unconventional or something special like tonight, but as long as it gets the job done. Uh, interview with the broadcaster about Eric Dyer uh, injured tonight. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, what, injured. What's the nature of the injury? Well, he just pulled up sore and didn't train yesterday. And so there's nothing that links with Bayern Munich. We understand there's an agreement between the two clubs. Is that separate issue, team? mate? But don't question my integrity. When I say he's injured, he's injured. Didn't train yesterday. I can get vision for you. Ask him. But he was injured. Got nothing to do with anything else. Is there I've got no idea. Yeah, it's of no interest. Yeah, yeah, I know, but but when you ask me whether he's injured, he's injured. Like I didn't make that up. That's you know, if I if he wasn't injured, I'd say that he wasn't selected. It's easy for me to say he's injured. Now, in terms of anything else that's happening, not on my radar. Not that I've heard of. And uh, if there is something, I'm sure I'll hear, hear of it. But you know, fair to say, last sort of 24 hours, I've been focusing on the game and the guys who are available. Um, Pedro Porro had a difficult start to his life in England, but you helped transform him into one of the most creative players in your team in the Premier League. How have you gone about changing his oh, yeah, I think credit to him. Look, he's. <clears throat> you know, I love Pedro because you know, from the day I arrived, he's got so much enthusiasm, passion, energy for the game, and he's worked really, really hard <clears throat> on the defensive side of his game, obviously. It's a different role. <coughs> you know, he's probably more used to playing as a wing back and he's, he's got a lot more defensive responsibility. But we always knew he had the quality, the attacking qualities, you know, and he's shown that not just tonight, he's, you know, during the year, he's been a real big part of our creative side of our game. And uh, yeah, he's probably just missed the goal. He's been a bit unlucky <coughs> this year. He's hit the post a couple of times. But um, yeah, look. Really pleased for him and, and credit to him because, like I said, he's worked really hard at his game and he continues to do so. You know, he's still a young man and, um, you know, he's been outstanding for us. Yeah, Ryan says, you know, I think it's 11 months since his last game. How important has that been just to feel a part of it again? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's sort of what, you know, we, we kind of wasn't always the plan to play him tonight, give him minutes, but I thought if the game was going and the way the game was going, um, you know, <clears throat> made sense to, to give him some time out there. but. You know, he, he has missed a lot of football and it's going to take him a while, but it's where we're at. You know, we've got three centre-halves on the bench and young kids on the bench, mate, we're, we're bare bones, but this group of players still keeps finding a way. Were there any, were there any fresh injuries this evening, Ange? Yeah, Ben Davis looks like he's done his hamstring, um, so it looks like he'll be out. And uh, Gio has <coughs> got a bit of tightness, but I'm hoping it's nothing serious. Was Benton Kerrick at the end? Yeah, he's fine. He's just fatigued, obviously. He hasn't played... In, Probably played more than we wanted to, but um, <clears throat> yeah, he said felt fine. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. I, the, the, I was the plan was to give him some game time tonight, but the way the game was going, I just thought you know we we kind of needed something up front to to sort of crack them open. So you know we kept him on ice, but he trained this week. He's okay. Um, you know he'll he'll obviously train fully. In. <coughs> yeah, he's available for selection. Yeah. Um, if Ben Davis is injured, can you afford to lose Eric Dyer this month? It's just on balance of numbers. Yes. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs>